Uh, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, today we're taking another deep dive into Ripple and XRP. And if you like that, make sure you watch this video all the way through so you don't miss out on anything important. Having said that though, guys, we are giving away 50 XRP. If we hit 500 likes within 24 hours, we'll announce it live instantly. What you need to do to enter is make sure you press the like button, make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell on, and make sure you comment something down below, which is your entry ticket. We'll announce the winner over on Twitter today or tomorrow if somebody wins. Now, I've been checking quite a lot of theories out in the last couple of days all right I, I try to keep myself up to date with everything but sometimes i miss a couple well there were a couple i did not miss though that i i definitely think i should tell you guys a little bit more about and one of them is this one right here ripple xrp a deep dive into nasara slash gasara and XRP moving the world to the gold standard. Now, there is a very big difference to make here between a gold standard world and XRP having a gold standard. We'll talk a little bit more about that. First of all, I gotta briefly explain what this Nasara slash Gesara really is all about. Nasara stands for National Economic Security and Recovery Act. It was a set of proposed economic reforms for the United States suggested during the 1990s by Harvey Francis Bernard. Bernard claimed that the proposals, which included replacing the income tax with a national sales tax, abolishing compound interest on secured loans, and returning to a bimetallic currency, again, we're talking here about a quote-unquote gold standard, would result in 0% inflation and a more stable economy. The proposals were never introduced before Congress. Now, that is how it first was. Later on, people said it, it, it kind of became a, a, a conspiracy type of thing. But that is, again, to be determined by you yourself. I can't really claim about that one. Because it really depends on how you see these things, right? And GISARA, instead of national, in my, in my belief, it stands for Global Economic Security and Recovery Act. Instead of just national for the U.S., but basically, the whole situation here that people are wondering for is kind of a, a reshuffle of the current system. A lot of people, partially me included, they think the system that we have right now is a little bit flawed. There are quite a lot of things that, be co that they could be doing better. And one of those things could be uh, just trying out this gold standard once more to make sure that things just can't, you know, the whole system, and I'm talking here about the financial system, it all works on just faith alone. It all works in trust in the government. And, and once you start to lose that grip a little bit of, hmm, you know, it's all just one big trust loop. Maybe you're looking for something more stable, like a, a real, in this case, bimetallic currency, like a gold standard in which you can trust. You know, that's why, again, that very important saying in gold we trust uh, came out as well. Some say it's only in God we trust. Some say it's both because, well, you can really trust in gold because it's not going to go away anytime and if your fiat is backed by that instead of just government faith and, and government stability your, your 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 money is just a lot more secure right and of course there's a couple of other benefits in it all but that's not what we're going to be talking about too much today i just wanted to bring you guys this one right here as well green eggs and ham said on twitter those of you that think xrp will be backed by gold via the governments let's say they do that and the price of XRP is 50 cents. He says 0.50 cents, but I'm assuming he means 0.50 dollars. And they back it with 100 million troy ounces. The price of XRP goes up to $2. Who's going to be buying the 300 million troy ounces to keep the backing? Because that's literally how it would have to work, right? And even think about it a little bit more crazy then. What if XRP goes to $10? Who? What then? Right, I don't, I don't really get that part either, which is why I'm like, you know, maybe, maybe that's not what we should be waiting for or hoping for—an XRP backed by gold. And even then, it's not even necessary. 
Some are saying that's the only reason XRP will go to XXX dollars or things like that. No, guys, don't worry about that. And also, I am not saying a gold standard for the US dollar is not going to be coming or would not be beneficial. I'm definitely on that side saying if we had a gold standard, which some are saying is coming, I mean, there are quite a lot of hints. And here again, th this whole video and a couple of others I've watched have all been talking about getting rid of this depth as well. And at this point, if you check your gold reserves and things like that, it used to, 100 years ago, when the US dollar became the world reserve currency, be the most important factor of a strong economy. You know, how much gold do you have? All those things, though, have been switched up a little bit, and things like that are changing quite drastically, which is uh, is definitely quite interesting. Now, central banks ranked by largest gold holdings. Uh, I was kind of wondering how this one worked right here. All right. Here's the amount of tons, and here is the percent of total reserves. Isn't that interesting that the Netherlands, again, my country right here, has 68% in gold, then? In the reserves, 68% in gold? I mean, the U.S. is 76, that, that, that's true, but, I mean, the Netherlands is so much smaller, you know, and relatively such a huge amount. It's a pretty interesting uh, thing to look at right there. However, that's just a side note. What I did want to show you guys was right here, all right? Somebody said, ask Bubba Cugs. And why is that? Well, Bubba, Bubba Cugs, has often been one of the guys that says things like this. Where will Ripple go? In Marvin Gaye, I trust. And, and things like this exactly here are what keep people motivated for these bigger reforms. And I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing. I'm just saying that these things all kind of come back together. You know, Marvin Gaye, Q, the bearable guy, one, two, three, insiders, and, and things like that, they all kind of follow the same thing. Jewish gematria, I guess that all falls along with that as well. These guys all fo follow a little bit into the same category. Why? Because we're hoping for just a radical change that would change the way we see lives, our, our lives, for the better. And they all make a little bit of sense, all right? They all make a different sense in, in that end as well. But let, let's, let's, let's listen to me right here, all right? XRP, do I see it going up? Yes, so. Do I see it being bad at gold? Not necessarily, because I don't really see how that would all work along. If you have a good explanation as to how it would work, well, maybe. All right, but then again, who's going to issue that and who's going to arrange all of that? Some have also said XRP is going to be the new, uh, in the new, the new world reserve currency or the new, I don't know, even even some other things like currency of the U.S. things like that. Man, those things are unrealistic. They're wishful thinking, hopeful thinking, but on a realistic scale, not that, not that heavy. Would XRP benefit from this system that we're talking about here? Definitely so, guys. Our whole economical system would just be flipped up into something completely different, and in my opinion, better. But, you know, it's still a little bit of a waiting game. Now, to stay with some facts, though, because I said it's going to be a little bit more of a deep dive, Mickey, again, coming through, providing some crazy content. And it looks like I have unfollowed him, but I have not, I can assure you. There we go. Flair drops bombshell breakthrough for XRP Ledger. Trustless gateways into XRPL Ledger using Flair smart contracts. Welcome back gateway and on Ledger Dex trading of any issues asset on Flair will be easily moved onto XRPL. David Swartz stablecoin video from last year was foreshadowing exactly this future development. XRP will have access to smart contracts and Flair. Uh, on Flare, an XRP ledger gains all the utility of an asset issued or native on Flare to be used on XRPL in a trustless manner. That's exactly what this is going to say right here. Flare designed a brilliant revolutionary design of multiple breakthrough technologies that work in harmony to bring massive new utility with, uh, with new functionality for XRP and XRPL. Apps will use... There's even more that I can't type out, but I'll dive into on Brad Kimes' show later today. Look at all of this, guys. Look at what he's been posting. It is insane. By the way, tag him under any tweet that you see from me. Tag him to show him that, that we're talking about him, you know? I want to I wanna show him we appreciate his stuff. It's pretty damn crazy. He has a couple others. What do you know? The XPL gateways and on-ledger issuances are returning in ways we couldn't imagine a few months ago. Also, here comes some additional assets to trade onto XRPL decks, which is key advantage 
we will finally see be used in the near future. Well, all I can say is I'm pretty damn excited for what this is to bring. First of all, I was a pretty big Flair hater, not gonna lie. Why? Because I see the distribution as being quite stupid and unfair. But what they're building is, oh my, it's so freaking groundbreaking that I gotta support it. I just can't go around it. And these are things that might ultimately end up hiring XRP prices. All right, will it do it drastically like that? Maybe not. But this is the things that are building on top of XRP that add value directly to it, which again is ultimately going to end up moving the price upwards. Then, whew, again, something pretty damn amazing. Ripple says global payment network live in 55 countries and 95 currency pairs with XRP remittances running in five regions. My voice just went to shitters right there. Well, guys, this one right here, what we're seeing is to a certain degree cool, to another degree really underwhelming. Why? Because we know Ripple has that mission of getting all currencies out there, or at least all countries operating, in 2021. So for us to right now be at 95 currencies, 55 countries, right? Which is a little bit strange, by the way. How can you have 95 currencies and... Oh, it's 95 currency pairs, that's why. Well... I mean, they, they got quite a lot of countries to go here. And the reason I say it's cool is because, well, we can see some progress. That's one part. We can see they're definitely on a, on a good way. And another part is, well, that means that the, the progress they're going to be making in the relatively short period of time here is going to be even greater if they want to still get to the same end result. On a different note, though, it's kind of underwhelming since I thought it would be at least 70 by now. But again, I can't really complain about this because it could also be that this is quote unquote older info and this is just all they want to give us, right? Because maybe maybe Ripple's not letting go of all their fruits just quite yet. Maybe they got so much more but they're not showing. It could all be. Since I don't know, I'm just speculating and thinking here. Let's move further. Ripple's line of credit service thrust XRP into the spotlight. Well, this actually follows along with everything I've just been talking about. Why? Well, first of all, we're talking about deployments on XRP. Line of credit is making it easier for people to transact XRP and do things with it. It's basically just another, not necessarily a use case because you can't really, you know, do anything different than just, I guess, get a loan to buy some XRP. We're having another thing that is added, you know, a loaning system, which is just another uh, sort of a use case. You know, it's another additive onto the system. It also falls along with our, our ideas of this, this new system because it's like, well, it, things are going to be backed. Okay, okay, okay. But also, these transactions are going to be made more fair for everybody, all right? We want to more stabilize this economy more. We want to do more for the people. We want to do more for this, that, this. That. They're just making sure this whole system that right now is flawed with debt and, and things like that, they want to make it more streamlined. Even though I'm not saying this is going to get rid of debt because it's literally going to create some for a short amount of time. I'm just saying they're making sure that people don't have this unfair advantage as well anymore of others. People can just add along and come along. Literally in their bio here of what this says, uh, of what this does, it says, so these SMEs can kind of kind of keep up with some of these behemoths, these multi-billion dollar behemoths, they can keep up now, making the system a lot more fairer. Things like that is what Ripple's been working on. Things like that is what I am really damn excited about. By the way, the guys, every guys are getting into crypto. And I'm necessarily saying here, or specifically saying crypto here, because I mean, Half of the time, if you see a, a, a company has entered into, uh, you know, Bitcoin or, 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 or you'll, you'll, you'll see them talking about Bitcoin if you see people entering into crypto. However, theoretically speaking here, if we're talking about longevity, I'm not thinking that that's going to be too, too much going on for much longer. If you guys get me right there. Al Crypto says Bitcoin will fade away. Only Bitcoin fans can see this reality. And one of the primary reasons for that is Bitcoin is way easier to tune down. All right. Bitcoin is way easier to regulate in a negative sense because it's completely out of everybody's hands. Sort of. It's mostly in Chinese hands. With XRP, we all know Ripple is kind of on top of it. And we all know that nothing really can go wrong with that. I mean, it's controlled to a certain degree, or at least it's, it's kind of proven to be good by Ripple because Ripple uses it, which is a multi-billion dollar uh, company here. So, I mean, XRP is not going to be doing anything crazy. 
and it's also really specifically not you know controlled by the Chinese, which make these these a little bit easier to just let flow because they'll be fine. Bitcoin, yeah, I, I think some harsher regulations might come towards it, and of course, proof of work doesn't really work. And then some other cool part, Ripple. Pay ID address registration will be live on Bitrue very soon. Bitrue will introduce Ripple's Pay ID standard very soon. To celebrate the launch, users can win 100 XRP and the right to pre-register a Pay ID. All I'm saying is this is pretty cool. But yeah, guys, that was it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video.